Do you and your mate disagree often? I've got good news for you. Every couple disagrees. Even happy couples disagree. The difference is how you handle things when a discussion gets too heated. If you've been arguing long enough for your heart rate to speed up, you've launched a negative cycle, a pattern that you will repeat over and over until one of you is just too exhausted to continue. Not a very good ending, is it? But if you know how to slow down that cycle, you can pull out of it more quickly and suffer less pain in the process. The tricky part about that is how do you slow down the cycle? And how can you slow it down if you're just one person who wants to slow it down? Well, you can do something called taking a time out. You can say, I feel really overwhelmed right now. Can you give me five minutes? I need to gather my thoughts. Now, you'll want to do that sooner in the cycle rather than later. But really, you can do it at any point when you realize things feel out of control. One thing you never ever want to tell your partner is, you're out of control and you need a timeout. <laughs> a timeout is something you do for yourself. Instead, tell your partner, I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I need a timeout. Then state a specific amount of time you'll come back. For example, give me five minutes, I'll be back to continue this. I'm going to go for a walk. Or, I'll be gone for half an hour. Then I'll come back and we'll try again. Or if it's really overwhelming, you could say, I'll talk to you tonight. You could also state a time later in the same day. The important thing is that whatever you do, you need to actually come back at the time you promised. So very important that you do that no matter what. If you're not ready to talk at that point, still show up and say, I really still don't feel like I'm ready to talk about this. I don't fully understand what's going on inside of me, and I need more time. Can we talk about it tomorrow at dinner? In that way, you can take a second time out. That is, extend the process if you need to. But you must give a specific time that you will be back to regroup. You know, the cool part about taking a time out is your partner is also getting a time out. That means both of you have a chance to cool off, to get your blood pressure down to get your emotions calm so that when you come back to the discussion, you had a little time to think. You can be more intentional when you come back and talk about what happened for you during the discussion. When this happened, I got scared or I felt shut out or I felt sad, any of those things. Because of those feelings, I responded the way I did. I don't want to respond to you that way because I care about you. So please tell me again, what were you trying to say? Then, as your partner recounts the story, listen and play back what you hear. Make sure you got it right, because chances are you were listening to whatever your partner was saying through the filter of your emotions. By taking a time out, then sharing your feelings in a matter of fact, that is a non-defensive way, you're able to listen better. Most of the time, you'll realize your mate didn't even say what you thought you heard. Give it a try, and if you'd like to learn more about the process of resolving couple conflict and creating connection, check out the resource at drdebbysmith.com forward slash conflict. And remember, I'm here to help.